Hey, what's up guys? All right. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to actually create a user centric Shopify store or a product page or a collection page, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of brands do this big mistake is they call it user centric, but it's mostly just like, you know, their branding or they kind of like messed up everywhere in the product pages or the collection pages. Your responsibility as a business owner is to make easier for the consumers for the end consumer as much as possible so you can get the most conversion out of the ads you're running for your product pages or if you're using social media to promote your products your end goal should be to actually make very very easy for the users to navigate through your website so i'm going to use an example of burga so for example uh, they sell phone cases uh, regardless of the product category it doesn't really matter Let's say if I'm a consumer, I'm looking for iPhone 14 Pro Max phone case that is kind of like, you know, a funky style. Now, if I just come on their website and just click on phone cases, right, it shows me all the phone cases they have available. I can easily pick the iPhone 14 Pro Max, right? And it will show me pretty much the same products, but they have like multiple products that they are showcasing, right? So now as a consumer, let's say I, I like this product, right? And if I click on that, I go to their single product page. I, I already see like it's 14 Pro Max. Maybe I like this print. Maybe I like this print, right? They're upselling me some, um, the case products, uh, sorry, the case type which is just like a, a more protection on the phone case. I can easily add it to the cart. I might need a screen protector or I might need um, a ring holder for the same case that I'm using. I might need a AirPod case too, uh, a magnetic power bank. Maybe I need a wallet that basically is the same exact brand, right? So everything is presented to me as soon as I landed on the page. I got the phone case. I if iPhone users, they always have AirPods, right? So I might get this one. I might get a, a ring pop. I might get a wallet case or like a magnetic power bank. Regardless, everything is presented to me. So this is what a user centric page or like the product page looks like. And this is how it should be when it comes to uh, promoting the products online. And now, if I want to just like add it to the cart or purchase the products, I can easily check out and I'll be on my way. Um, they also offer like buy two, get two free deals, all that. But think about when it comes to your specific product page, what your specific collection page, your website, your navigation. What is the minimal steps a user can take in order to purchase either one product or either five products all together, just like with this website and easily can check out. So if I just click on add to cart, okay, I can just click on secure checkout. Let's say I added the add-on products too. I can just fill in my information and just easily check out, right? They did all that to sell me those upsells and cross-sells add-on products initially on the product page. So they're not gonna be uh, popping those on the cart page or the actual checkout page. So when it comes to like building user centric page, think about like how you can navigate user to the exact product that they're looking for, but also try to do add ons, present them everything that you have available. If you have add ons, do that. If you have upsells, do that and present them in a plate as soon as they land on the product page, so it's easier for them to navigate and just easily check out. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Daniel. I'm a part of info.io. If you need help scaling your brand online, be sure to click the link in the description below. Schedule a call with me and I would be happy to help you. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.